While President Trump signed the bill, his delayed action means that unemployment benefits will be delayed getting to the people who need it the most. Extended unemployment benefits were allowed to expire overnight, briefly putting the benefits for millions of Americans in jeopardy. Late Sunday, President Trump finally signed a relief bill renewing those benefits and bringing a fresh round of direct payments to Americans. I'm also asking Congress to immediately get rid of the wasteful and unnecessary items. But early last week, when Congress sent him the bill, he said he was unwilling to sign it unless changes were made, including larger checks. That meant extended unemployment was allowed to expire. It also put an extra $300 weekly supplemental benefit in jeopardy. To get that extra $300 a week would have allowed me to pay my bills, to pay my electricity, to pay my rent, just normal bills like that. Tara Hinton was a manager at the Hall Bar and Grill in Trinity Groves in West Dallas. Hinton was laid off in March and the business has since closed. She's been living off of unemployment benefits. The initial $600 supplemental benefit passed in March expired over the summer. She's been looking forward to hopefully getting the bigger checks by now. It's very frustrating. There was a, an agreement that was made. I understand the president wanted to add additional funds to the stimulus package, which I think was a great idea. But it may have been better to stick with what they had and try to add that on just to get something together before the government shut down. More than 59,000 Texans filed for new unemployment claims last week, according to the Texas Workforce Commission. There are still tens of thousands of Texans relying on benefits in a stalled economy. So I have tried to go get a job in my industry. Uh, I've also branched out to other industries as well. At the beginning of COVID, I was told I was overqualified. So I can't even get a job as a, as a cashier at Kroger or another facility similar to that. I mean, told I'm overqualified. It looks like relief is finally coming. The question now is whether it's too late. Nobody wants to be in a situation where there is no COVID relief. It's clear that some sort of meaningful relief is necessary. The House will vote tomorrow on whether they will decide to increase individual payments from $600 to $2,000. It's expected that the Senate will vote sometime later this week. Blake. Okay, Stephen Dow, live for us. Thanks.